Hello everyone and welcome back to Resident Evil 4. Today we're going to save Ashley again. What is this, the second time? No. Third? I don't know. All I know is we're gonna have to save her anyways. Alright, now before you go in this next room, pull out the rocket launcher if you have it. And, and you're gonna see why in just a second. Trust me. Alright. So, when we go into this next room, pull out the rocket launcher, aim right about uh, here. Yeah, we have two guardors that we're gonna have to fight. <laughs> and luckily, if I did this right, yeah, so these come down. I killed one. There's another one that's still alive. And he's gonna come at me. Wait for it. Oh, okay. Come at me. Hey. Jeez. Okay, so what I was hoping for is the guy would run at me and then try to pierce the wall, but it looks like he's being a little bit of a dick. So, Alright, well, I can always do this. Okay. Hey, buddy. Alright, yes, that's exactly what I wanted him to do. Okay. Alright. And... Good, that killed him. Alright. So yeah, <laughs> that's the whole reason why I saved the rocket launcher until now. Now, technically, there is a boss fight coming up, and I could have used it then, but I decided against it. I mean, seriously. Alright, and... Okay, this is gonna be weird. So, we need to go up and get that, uh, whatchamacallit. 15,000 pesetas, but yeah, these enemies, I don't know where they spawn from. They spawn from thin air. I mean, literally. Hey, guys. There we go. Nope. Get on the ground. Not the only field. Same thing. All right. And now we have all the enemies dead. So usually this is a really hard room to get through, but I was able to efficiently map this room out where I didn't have to deal with that crap. So I'm happy about that, and I don't have to deal with these stupid enemies, because trust me, they are absolutely the worst enemies you want to deal with. <sighs> and I think this is technically the last time we're going to be dealing with Gardors. Thank God. Uh, Alright, is there anything over here? Nope, I guess not. So we're going to be moving on. Now, there are some treasures. A spinel right here, and I believe this is also a spinel? Yep. All right. And we are done. All right, Ashley, we're here to save you. Ashley. Leon! <laughs> Mr. Kennedy, don't you know when it's time to throw in the towel? No! Leon! Hmm, where's the satisfying sound of one's impalement? Don't fall for this old trick. Maybe you have nine lives, but it doesn't matter now, Mr. Kennedy. I've sent my right hand to dispose of you. Your right hand comes off? Hm. Say whatever you please. Die, you worm! Well, we barely survived that trap, but I mean, at least we're okay. <laughs> oh, jeez, man. He was pissed. Now, he did send his other... Well, other guy to come after us, and he's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. And that's the boss fight I was talking about, and we'll see that soon enough. But before that, 
We got a treasure. We got the crown. It's worth 9,000 pesetas, and you can combine this with the crown jewel and the royal insignia to get a very well-deserved upgraded item, so I can't wait to get that. Now, there's a few other things that we can get over here, so one thing I know is, where is it? It should be, ah, right here. Velvet blue, and not that. Yes, another yellow herb, so pick this up. Oh, jeez. Oh, and Magnum Ammo. Gotta get Magnum Ammo. Alright. I know you're right there, Merchant, and you have a, a, a gun I've been looking forward to for a very long time. Welcome. Okay. Got some All right, everybody. things on sale, stranger. And Daddy does. What are you selling? It's time to say goodbye to the last of our temporary items. Ah. Goodbye, Shotgun. You served us well. <laughs> so we're Thank selling you. the shotgun, and we're going to sell a few other things. Not the crown. <laughs> Don't sell the crown. You need to combine <laughs> them with our stuff before you sell it. All right. Is that all? <laughs> what are you and buying? We're going to come, and we're going to buy, yes, the Striker. This is the best shotgun in the game, hands down. It is superior to that of the shotgun and the riot gun. For one, it starts out with a base power of 6.0, and then when it's fully maxed out, it goes to 12, which is two extra points, even with the exclusive for the riot gun. It has really quick firing speed, considering it starts at 1.110, faster than both the riot gun and the shotgun. Reload speed, uh, it's pretty average. It's the same as both the other shotguns, but... The best part about this is the capacity. It starts out with okay capacity, better than the other shotguns, but when you fully upgrade this gun and you get the exclusive, it increases the capacity to 99. Literally, you can carry your entire inventory of shotgun shells in this gun. It is that good. And plus, it is a good weapon overall and all of its other stats. So this is why I am picking it up. Strength? It is my favorite shotgun in the game, and it deserves that. And plus, it's really small compared to the other shotguns that take up a lot of inventory space. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And because we just got this, there's going to be some is upgrades. <laughs> and luckily, we do old? have enough pesetas so we can upgrade all <laughs> the points you. that are available. And we're done here. Come back anytime. Thank you very much, merchant. And we shall be taking our leave. Now, I've been giving this gun a lot of praise. I'm going to give it some more praise. Okay, so I'm going to equip the shotgun, and I'm going to show a little cool glitch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to target and then quickly switch into my menu. I think Leon is looking at these bats flying around. By the way, his head keeps twitching for some reason. All right, so I'm going to go this, and then I'm going to pull out a grenade-type weapon, and then watch this. I am super fast now. <laughs> yeah, so this is called the Titman glitch. It's something that was discovered by speedrunners, <laughs> and thank you, speedrunners, again. Uh oh. And basically, what it does is if you're not in a cutscene or anything like that, and I'll show it off again just so you see how it's used, you go lock on, and then if I did it right, it basically increases Leon's movement speed. So I think I'll be abusing this a little bit too often. <laughs> oh. But honestly, that's probably one of the best things that you can have about this gun. Now, I have a very cluttered inventory, so I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I'm back. All right, so this next area, be very cautious. We are going to be dealing with Salazar's right hand. So as soon as that happens, that's an indicator that he's in the area. So be prepared to... Mm, have reaction commands come up randomly. Now, this is our end goal. We have to go down this elevator shaft, except it's not responding. The power is out. So we need to go turn on the power. And we have to do it while this thing is running around. Thank you for demonstrating. 
Yeah. This is going to be a little bit annoying to deal with, so just keep running down towards the end of the hall, and that's where we find the power grid to turn on the elevator. Now, when you're going to be fighting this guy, he's going to be annoying, and he's going to do this a lot, but he's also going to have other reaction commands. Alright, so I'm going to pick up some stuff before I turn on the elevator. Alright. Now, I would recommend you have full heals on hand. And so I'm going to put my... I hate how cluttered this is. Jesus. Alright, so I'm just putting this here. Alright, so be prepared, because he will come in out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. They had Jeez. <laughs> Trying to prepare and talk at the same time. Alright, so I'm going to turn on the power. And then the door locks. But the elevator's moving, at least. Please wait approximately four minutes for the elevator to arrive. Now, you do not necessarily have to wait that entire time. But, you do have to wait until this door opens. Once you press this button, we're in for a boss fight. Alright. Everybody, this is Vertigo. Vertigo is probably one of the worst annoying enemies in the game. Oh god, I'm trying to avoid him. Okay, he's gonna chase after me. Oh god. Okay, knock over. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is quickly switch out to my Magnum. Broken butterfly, please. Boot kick this guy, and then shoot him while he's on the ground. Good. Alright, now. For the rest of the time that you're in this area, you're going to run in a circle. I mean, literally. You cannot damage this guy unless you use these canisters full of nitroglycerin. Oh, I just realized. <sighs> okay, so my screen is very dark right now, and I didn't even realize he was in front of me until I saw the glow of his red eyes. Ugh, that's the problem with running. Oh, sh I hate this right now. I'm gonna use a first aid spray. Oh god. Alright, he's probably gonna run around. This is what he usually does. Yep. Hi, I'm gonna run away from you now. <laughs> yeah, so I literally have to run around until the door opens or just stand here waiting for him to Oh here he is! <laughs> oh god, I hate this guy. Oh shit. Yeah, he's really annoying me. I don't like it. And the door's open. All right, we're good. <laughs> we are freaking good. Right behind me. Oh, die, and I miss that reaction command. <sighs> I gotta have a crap ton of health, but he's still annoying. All right, now, our objective, dodge, crouch. All right. He might do that reaction command a few times in a row, so just be prepared. All right, for him. Come on. Yep, yep, there he is. Okay. Nitroglycerin go? Nope, I'm not pulling. <laughs> well, I'm gonna throw handgun bullets at him. Broken butterfly, come on out. Son of a bitch. Take it down. Alright, magnum shots. Yes, alright. Okay, I'm running away from him because I'm not dealing with this son of a bitch. Okay, now. <sighs> gonna run down here. Nope, nope, nope. Reload, please. Annie, right behind me, you son of a bitch. Alright, fuck off. This is your last hurrah, Vertigo. Alright, kick him. Let's end this son of a bitch. There we go. <sighs> Alright, and for killing him, well, cutscene first. <laughs> okay, so after killing him, the elevator's back up. Thank God. Now, you can't technically wait the entire four minutes, but mm, screw that. Now, anyways, for killing him, we get the crown jewel. Worth 11,000 pesetas, and you can combine it with the crown to increase its value. <sighs> After a boss fight like that, it's worth it to get this. Trust me. All right. And so, I will use my other first aid spray, and we will move on. After I move this... Nope. Shotgun into place. There we go. And now we are done with this. Honestly, that's the most annoying part of the level, and now that we're done, I'm 
breathing easy. That boss fight can be challenging your first time, especially if you don't know what to do and you're trying to kill him. He takes up a lot of ammunition. I mean, considering, like, what do I have for my uh, gun currently? Um, Yeah, I got tw 20 firepower, and it took me... What was it? Almost 13 magnum shots to kill him? Yeah, that guy is pretty durable. Oh, but I mean, at least we're done now. Oh, I hate Vertigo, but he's dead. All right, let's head down into the mines. It seems that Salazar is having difficulty taming the American pig. Salazar had his chance. Krauser, go get the girl. Oh, and uh, dispose of this swine while you're at it. Consider it done. <laughs> 